Hi. In this video guide, I'm going to show you how you can add closed captioning to stage 10. Also, how you can record the live video output and how you can do ISO recordings on all, all the performers, so isolated raw feeds. Uh, this, can, this tutorial is going to be focused on Mac OS. It's actually easier on Windows, but um, why not go hard? And there will be some downloads needed in this guide, so keep that in mind. Okay, uh, we have the Stage 10 Studio open right now, so we can, of course, um, make a layout and push it live. And a little trick that we need now is we need to press tilde tilde one, title title one, essentially. Uh, the top left of your keyboard twice and then the one next to it and we get a debug menu uh, we get a stream token here we can copy that to our keyboard and if we're dealing with performers and we want to record performers there will be a stream token for each of the remote performer feeds showing up here as well now this stream token is for the main output so what we have in the main view here is what this stream token represents Okay, I'm going to run this uh, station studio on a Windows computer, on a separate computer. I find it makes it easier to have them on separate computers, but you could have them on the same computer for performance reasons and other factors. Having them on two different computers just makes life easier. Um, it doesn't matter which computer the studio is on, uh, obviously, but um, for the other system, it is easier to use Windows, but we're going to be focusing on Mac OS. Okay, so I'm going to switch to the Mac OS system now after I just close this and Okay. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go to a web page called S10 Watch and I'm going to paste in our slash uh, paste paste in that stream token we have. And then I'm going to click anywhere on the screen. And as you can see, we're now being recorded. We're not recorded. We're now live in a Chrome window on this other computer. So this is a, a way that a director or some viewers can, can watch the show remotely without having to log into the performer interface. You can share this link and they'll have access to the stream. Uh, this is just kind of for demonstration right now. Um, what we're going to do now is we need to download some software to make uh, the ca closed captioning work and to do any recording. And the software we're going to use is OBS, so you might have this already installed, um, OBS Studio. And we can download that from GitHub or from the download site. Uh, let's go here, view on GitHub. I think that's the easiest way to get it. Then we can go to releases. Uh, version 25 is the newest official release. There's a version 26 coming out soon. And we can just install OBS for Mac here. Or we can install it for Windows um, as well. Uh, okay. Now I already have OBS open. So we'll just go there. And let's just open it up. So this is OBS, right? And we're going to be using this in a second. Uh, what we can do to demonstrate one thing on Windows, not on Mac, but on Windows, um, we could do something as simple as this. Um, we go to Plus here. We go to Browser. We, we can just say OK. And then we can enter a browser source here in 1280, 720, control audio via OBS, and then hit OK. And on Windows, this will automatically play and work for us. But uh, Mac OS has a problem where it cannot play videos via the browser source in OBS. Uh, that's being fixed, but for now, we need to use a alternative solution. So I'm just going to delete this um, for now. And I'll go to our alternative solution. Now I, I made this 
uh, well, let's see what we call it. So we're going to have to go to GitHub and we're going to go to my repo and we're going to go to S10 capture. Uh, the links will be provided for this. There might be another way to get it later. Um, and we can download this software. So for Mac, we can click that and we can install this application. And there we go. So we open up the app and we get this page. And just like before, we're going to paste in our stream token right here. Ooh, we might as well just do the entire thing then. We have it copied. Boom. Okay. And now when we hit go, it will play our video. So it auto plays. You don't need to click anything. And if we move to the top of this video, the top inch or so lets us move around. Um, we can go to the top left and we can close the application or we can right click anywhere and close it as well. We can resize it, we can reload it and other things there. Um, and then in OBS, we can go to OBS. We can move this out of the way. Actually, I'll resize it because my monitor is really small. And I'll put it somewhere over the way. You generally want to have an extra monitor with this approach because we want to generally have this captured at 720 or 1080, whatever resolution we're capturing in stage 10. Um, and then we want to do display capture. And we want to go here and we want to crop um, to window and we want to select uh, the S10 cap app down here, S10 capture. Cool. So now the video is being captured here and we can resize this to fit our canvas. And now we're capturing our video in OBS, so we can hit record and, and capture it that way. One thing you'll notice is we don't have audio. And th th there's ways of capturing audio in Mac. One of the ways I prefer um, to do this is using a software program called Loopback. Loopback's not free. Um, so for the purpose of the demo, I'll be using a free software uh, called Black Hole. And I'll just move this over here. And so this is Black Hole. We can just type in Black Hole Apple Mac OS audio. We come to this page and we can download it. Um, it's free. Uh, I've already downloaded it, but it's free for Mac. You just have to type in your email and you get it. And it's a pretty seamless download. Once you have it downloaded, you'll have an option in your audio settings here, including Black Hole. Or if you install loopback, you have loopback. And we can just leave that. But we can go to sound preferences. And we can go to input. And we'll select black hole as our default audio input. Uh, the output, you can leave it as your internal speakers. Close. And when we go back to OBS, OBS, we can then, uh, if we want to, we can capture the audio this way. Properties, default, and we can select black hole, one, two. And then I'll go here and I'll just reload. Uh, maybe I'll go to home page. There we go. Um, let's resize it to 720. Put the stream token back in. I want to show you this now. And the idea is we can select which device we want to output to. Um, I'm going to select the black hole app will be the output. Um, 
and it you'll know you'll notice that the app added this sync line to the s10 watch now when we go we can resize it to have something small again move it out of the way and now the window is feeding our audio into our virtual audio driver into our black hole audio driver we have our virtual audio driver listed as the default mic and so now our audio is being captured in OBS. Uh, if you move OBS over top of the app, it's not a good idea. Um, but I, I do have it always on top. If you do put your cursor on top of the window, uh, you'll capture the cursor. So you generally want to have a secondary window. And you generally want to avoid putting your cursor over the app. Um, I'm on a pretty old computer here, so everything's a little bit slow. Uh, this is an old Mac Mini. Uh, I'm mainly a Windows user. Anyways, n what we're doing now, though, is we're able to either capture or, or restream our Stage 10 output on a Mac, and we're also capturing the audio. And the audio will be in sync. So you can look at the visual meter and see that it's in sync. Okay, so now that's how you can record the main out. And if you use the other stream tokens from the performers in stage 10, you can record the ISO feeds of those performers. And you can open multiple OBS windows to record multiple streams. It's easier on Windows because you don't have to worry about the separate, separate app to capture uh, the video stream, but um, it's an option still nonetheless. And now for, um, well, for captioning, you'll notice that actually this has already occurred. Uh, we can go to something called Caption Ninja, and it automatically starts to transcribe our default microphone. So this is the default microphone. This is why we had to go up to the top here and select um, from the sound preferences uh, the default input device to be the black hole app because we wanted this application to, to automatically select our default app which wanted to be black hole because the windows opening to black hole um, i'm going to restart this page and just be quiet for a second okay so i'm just going to click that link um, it, it's pretty easy to to figure out. It's simply overlay and then the room number and the room number is automatically given to you. We want to take this page, copy that. We can close it now. We want to go to OBS. We want to go and open up a new browser source. I have already resized it to a, a size I want. So 1280 by 138. And I'll uh, paste in that. Do, 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 do. Oh, I know why. I'm going to put the browser source on top. There we go. Um, the size is a little bit off, so I'm going to adjust it. Um, mm, 110, okay. And w once we get the just the resolution just right, uh, to fit our needs, we can then just let it go. As I speak into the microphone, it will automatically transcribe. We we need to leave this window open um, in an open tab. We can close this window. We don't use this one at all. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that. We don't need that. Uh, we don't need the black hole software. And we don't need our... Uh, capture software so we all just minimize just minimize this page and here we go uh, if we had a second monitor we can move this to the side and if we had a 4k monitor we get like 10 of these videos onto one monitor for recording on this old mac mini the resolution is pretty low but um, we can still get two or three videos and obs on um, yeah so now it's transcribing 
we can record it using the record button here and we're good to go so that is how we do closed captioning with stage 10 on a Mac um, we can also do recording of ISO feeds as mentioned and yeah there, there's other tricks we can do as well we can do 1080p and some other tricks but um, check the guides I'll be linking probably in the S10 capture uh, github repo for more information there anyways I hope this guide has been helpful and that is the end of this video bye